Hydraulic Reservoir Filling Servicing Procedure to Fill Up the Green Hydraulic Reservoir Some precautions have to be taken. Make sure that the speed brakes and spoilers are retracted, the thrust reversers are stowed, the landing gear is extended and the doors closed, the forward and aft cargo compartment doors are closed. All the other hydraulic services must be in normal position. To depressurize the green hydraulic system, make sure that the travel ranges of the flight control surfaces are clear, but do not depressurize the system reservoirs. So, stop any supply of hydraulic power to the green or yellow hydraulic systems through the ground connectors. The main landing gear doors have been opened. Put warning notices in position to tell people not to pressurize the hydraulic systems. Electrical power being available, on the ECAM check that the green system pressure shows zero. If not, operate the rudder to reduce the pressure to zero. Safety and tag the appropriate circuit breakers. In the main landing gear bay, check that the green reservoir pressure and the green accumulator pressure are normal. Now, let's fill the green system. Go to the ground service panel of the yellow system to remove the hand pump handle. On the other side, open the green ground service panel. Notice that it is possible to fill any of the three hydraulic reservoirs from one place. It is also possible to fill the reservoir with a hydraulic service cart connected here. So, the hand pump is connected to the shaft of the pump. Above the panel you find the filling hose. Remove its cap. Remove the blanking cap of the pump and connect the filling hose to the fill valve. Put the other end in the hydraulic container. Turn the selector to the green system position. Make sure that on the quantity indicator, the green light comes on. Operate the pump. Monitor the increase of on the quantity indicator. If no electrical power is available, the fluid level can be checked on the reservoir itself. Stop the flow when the pointer is at the end of the green line. Turn the selector back to the neutral position. On the quantity indicator, the green light goes out. If a reservoir is overfilled, you cannot pressurize it correctly and you must drain it. Remove the hose and reinstall the blanking caps.
Put the filling hose back in its cap position. Remove the handle from the hand pump and put it in its cap position of the yellow service panel. Close the ground service panels. Circuit breakers closed, landing gear doors closed, the working area is clear.